We have a saying in you that you die twice. First when you stop breathing, and the second time when your name is spoken for the very last time. You don't have to go very deep into a person's family to come up with a veteran. The biggest fear gold star families have that their child will be forgotten. Reach Across America uh, is an organization that is like no other. It almost touches every person in the United States at some level. Reach Across America at this point has become an incredible opportunity to teach what we are as Americans and what constitutes the goodness in this country. Reach Across America started almost 27 years ago when my husband, who was in the wreath business, had too many wreaths. We had about a truckload left over that year, which is about 5,000. I mean, we were trying to think of what we could do with them that would do maybe some good to some people. We thought about our International Cemetery. He's very patriotic. He just wanted to say thank you. Out of respect for what we have in this country. So it became a family tradition. And it just struck a chord, I guess. It went around the world. This year, we'll be placing about 1.6 million wreaths on the graves of the veterans. The Wreaths Across America wreath laying is really, it's a, it's a celebration of life. That one wreath symbolizes one family, one family that was able to smile because of the generous donations. It's really important that people understand that Reef Day is an event, but Reefs Across America is a year-round mission. We also place wreaths at 1,500 other locations. My ultimate goal is to place a wreath on every single veteran's grave. Reefs Across America cannot accomplish this alone without donations, dedicated volunteers, trucking companies, and truck drivers who make the trip each year in early December to Frigid, Maine. Over 1.6 million reefs will make their way to over 1,600 cemeteries across America. This video will be sharing just a little of the combined efforts of first responders, bikers, truck drivers, volunteers, civic groups, and military personnel. Remember, honor, and teach are the cornerstones of wreaths across America. Remember the sacrifice of those who have served our great country. Honor, it is truly an honor to show respect to the fallen by speaking their name again while placing a wreath on their grave. Teach, teach our children and young people the value of freedom. One trucking company that has taking part in wreaths across America is GNP Trucking. When the truck arrives with the reef, that's when the most help is needed. Big truck also. So they'll stop all the traffic along the way. Uh, and Make sure everybody understands what GNP does for wreaths across America. And as a veteran, we appreciate it. We well, we appreciate you guys and thank you for your service. And uh, you know, this is an important day for us every year. And, and we've, we've been participating, I, I don't know what year is this, nine, 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 nine year. So, uh, and our, our intention is to continue and hopefully get bigger and better as we go. And, uh, you know, we want to do all we can to support our vets. So thank you and thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. Thank the, the folks in blue. Uh, thank you guys for being here. We appreciate your help every year so in this, in this thing too. Thank you. Okay. So, we're gonna take off out of here shortly. Before we go, we got the corporate chaplain. Father, as we pause to honor you, we'd like to thank you that it, in your great wisdom, you provided us men and women who are willing to protect us uh, from the evils of this world. And Father, I pray that uh, you would guard us as we go out to honor them today, uh, that you would protect um, everybody in our, in our formation as we travel. And Lord, they may be honor you as we honor those who guard us. And Lord, I pray that those who continue to guard us, that you would protect them, that you would put a hedge of protection around their families and take them, bring them home together safely this evening. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Now, we got 6,000. I mean, about 6,500 reefs. About 6,500 reefs. So once we get there, we're going to go into the second entrance. Of the, uh, of the cemetery, just park your vehicles, and then we'll all head to the back.
try to do uh, an even amount of number on either side, okay? So we can get two lines going. So I'm taking it off, deboxing, and we'll put the reeds on each side. Do the best you can. If we can get a separate team to make it easy as well, is once we unbox it, somebody cut the boxes up and stack them on the pouch right here. That makes uh, make sense. Any yes, sir. Uh, I'm Richard Strobel. I was with GMP Trucking as their senior vice president. I'm retired, but uh, when we're done here, anybody that would like uh, to go to Cracker Barrel, uh, you're welcome, and it's on us. Awesome. Come on, come on, get in there.
you see here are students placing the wreath on the stones. When they place the wreath, they are saying the person's name out loud and thanking them for their service. We would like to extend our gratitude to all veterans and their families for serving our country. Thank you to all the trucking companies and volunteers that helped get the wreaths from Maine to the grave sites. And thank you to all the families and groups that came out to over 1,600 cemeteries to place the wreaths on the graves and speak the name of the fallen. If you would like more information about Wreaths Across America, check the description below for more links or visit wreathacrossamerica.org.